Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Age of Wonders 4 with Primal Fury. So I noticed our neighbor, this guy over here, is actually in the void right now. And he's ranked last in the military ranking. This might be the perfect opportunity to go after him, and I can declare justified war. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, my forces are stronger, obviously, when he's last. And I'm currently third out of seven in military ranking. I do have a pretty decent army. A lot of skeletons. Uh, speaking of which, we need to get rid of this monster then over here. They spawned a new stack now. Let's just send this skeleton stack here. Yeah, they can go and do that. He's basically right next to us. And with that said, I don't want to fight both these stacks at the same time. That sounds like bad times. Let's build a road here. There you go. I'll stay with the scout, he can help. We can also annex another province here. Maybe further down the road. Actually, no, let's grab this mana crystal. It's currently being guarded, but we'll take care of that soon enough. So, let's grab a Bastion in Gold Wall. That's 140 gold, I can afford that. We can also annex another province. And maybe a quarry. Now, I don't want to piss off this guy. So, let's not annex these provinces. Yeah, we can grab a quarry, that's acceptable. There's also a production cache over here currently being guarded. So, okay, more skeletons. Yeah, let's actually just take care of that monster then. Yep, we can do that. Since we are basically already here, there's no reason not to do it safely. It won't take long. And we'll get some experience. The Dread Spider Hatchling should evolve after this fight. It's literally two experience away from Champion, which will evolve it to Dread Spider Matriarch. They actually attacked me, okay. I might have to do it manually. No, nobody died. And there it is, it evolved to Champion. So now it will turn into Dread Spider Matriarch. And also our Archer got promoted. Do I want even more skeletons? Okay, fine, I'll grab them. Wand of the Rising Undead. Raise Undead. Yeah, hey, that's actually kind of useful. What can we get? 338 production in our capital here. This will instantly finish the mint. I think I might grab that. We can get 102 Imperium, but our relations with Bosgrove will go down for 18 turns. I'll actually finish the mint instantly. We are going to need the money. And while our income is decent right now, some of these improvements are really expensive. Town Hall Tier 4 is like 600 something gold. Speaking of which, let's get the Town Hall Tier 3. That will unlock the Ancestral Ward and Polar Munit. Primal Lunge. Jump onto the target hex and deal damage to all adjacent enemy units. Enter defense mode after use. Okay, yep, sounds good. And now, I might want to declare war right now, because otherwise I might lose justified war. So I don't want to wait. Yeah, let's just declare justified war right now, because if I wait too long, I might not be able to do it anymore, you know? And I would have to fabricate a grievance, which takes like five turns. Alright, let's go back. I might want to reshuffle some of my units, but that's not as important right now. As long as they stay close to each other. I can also bring my third hero here. It's not like he... Well, he does have something better to do. I was going to start some outposts. And maybe clear some easy stacks. Speaking of easy stacks, let's clear this one real quick. Maybe we don't have to. Let them go. I do want some experience. Minus 5 alignment. 
Yeah, let's actually kill them for experience. This should be easy enough. Okay, one skeleton died. You know what? Since these things cost me mana, I'm going to let that skeleton stay dead. You could argue it was dead to begin with. <laughs> yeah, now I have a perfect full stack here. Alright, and we can go in this general direction. I could even have another city underground, which I might. We'll see about that. Wait, what's this? Uh, we met another city, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I think my Whispering Stone is in one of my cities right now, in the gold wall. Okay, let's move it to that free city. If we could get that city, that would be amazing. It's quite far away from anything else I have. And there's no competition here. We could actually probably integrate this eventually. I might even boost allegiance here. Okay, let's boost allegiance. We have 300 Imperium. What can we get that would actually be helpful right away? We will get Call of Chaos soon, which I probably won't. Plus 200 mana and knowledge upon completing a conquest of a city. We are literally about to go to war. We did go to war. I think I'll pick that up. Okay, let's pick that up. We should be able to conquer at least one city. Probably more than that. Yeah, probably more than that. We just need to get there. Okay, I'll keep some units over here. And we can annex Ember Keep on the next turn. Okay. Yeah, you guys will just guard the outpost. That's fine. As for the scout, yeah, I might not be able to explore to the north. I might have to go through underground. How's our gold? 197. Uh, let's wait one turn to finish that spirit hall. And annex another province. Uh, let's grab this lumber mill. There's a pasture over here. Forester, rather. Same thing, okay? Arcane Institute to get some knowledge. And, uh, right, we can summon a Mistling. That will cost me like 20 mana per turn, but it's a nice unit. So I will definitely grab it. Champion, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can stay with the Skeletons for now. It doesn't matter that much. As long as they stay close to each other. We are neutral now, that's fine. I don't care too much about my alignment in this game. I don't really have anything specific that would benefit from alignment. Alright, let's go. Right, we can use bounties. That's like a new system in the update, in the wolf update. This basically allows you to coordinate attacks with your friends and allies. Do I really care about this right now though? Does he have any cities underground that I know of? No. Well, I'm about to attack this city myself. Uh, this guy here is our friend. Right? I'm pretty sure that's him. Let me double check. Yes. Okay, that's him. So how does this work again exactly? It's somewhere in here, no doubt. Is there an explanation somewhere? You can open the encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, I know. Bounties. Okay, bounty. So where do I place it, though? Wait, where do I place it? I thought it would be in diplomacy. Uh, apparently not. Oh, in quests. Yeah, right here. Create a bounty. So this is where we can do it. Again, not sure if I really want to. 290 gold. We can offer more. Yeah, no. It's not really necessary right now, but this is how it works. I just don't need it at the moment. I would like to take both of these cities myself. That's kind of the goal here. Alright, let's go. Can we go a bit faster here? Uh, no, there's a road already. All right, let's go. Just stay close to each other. This is a pretty good army. 
I want to kill these things, but it's a lower priority. It's a much lower priority. They're not going anywhere. Okay, we still have the gold. Let's get the mint. More gold is never a bad thing. What is our capital doing? Nothing at the moment. Alright. So, okay, we should probably build like the item forge, the crypt, the wizard tower. Because I'm missing out on Imperium. Five per turn might not seem like much, but there are very few sources of Imperium in this game, you know? Plus two mana income per hero in the crypt. Yeah, let's get the wizard tower. Get that Imperium. Uh, what about special province improvements? Is there anything I would really benefit from right now? Plus ten knowledge. Counts as a research post. Okay. Well, some of them are alright, but five turns is a lot. Plus three mana per adjacent snow or ice province. Yeah, we don't have those in here. Per adjacent research post or conduit. Okay, that's a bit more promising, perhaps. Also, plus five souls. Because, you know, it's a soul well. Adjacent research post or conduit. Well, so I could have it here instead of the farm, in theory, that's plus 6 mana, but I would lose the food, and I might need that. We only have 3 farms in here. Yeah, I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass. Let's grab that shrine, it's plus 10 mana, I will not be waiting for a quarry. No, not really. We need the mana. We're at minus one at the moment. And as we get even more skeletons, it will go even lower, alright? Right, three skeletons here. Let's just keep them down here. Because I'm going to need some units to get rid of all this crap. Yeah, as for the scout, we'll see where we can go. Probably nowhere overly useful. Tunneling spider, then. Okay, well, that would be nice. Arcadia could get that eventually, because we can excavate this. I just need to integrate Arcadia, which will take a while, but since we have no competition for it right now, we should be able to do it. Nine turns to recruit the Ancestral Warden. Well, okay, sure, might as well get started, right? Because it will take a while. Grab the Ember Keep, there we go, very nice. We can grab Palisade Walls. Not that I'll be able to defend it with like a few crappy skeletons, but if somebody tries, it will at least slow them down. Do we have anyone in the crypt? No. Okay. Carry on then. Let's go. A 55 fortification. So that's... A decent amount, but not, like, outrageous. Same as gold wall. Shouldn't take super long. Let's go. This should be fun. We can start the siege on the next turn. He does have a lot of units in here. Tier 3, tier 3. Okay, let's see if they come to attack us. I can probably win this. Here's his ruler. Alright, alright. Interesting. Okay, let's see if he comes to attack us. 1680. Pretty sure we have a stronger army here, or roughly the same. 475, 705, 610. So it's roughly the same-ish, a bit stronger, like on paper at least. So I should be able to win this. But it's going to be a pretty big fight. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty big fight. Okay, we found an elephant. Now, let's see. Is this easy? Just tier 1s. Let's kill them. Just don't let the scout die, thank you. I might have to do it manually. Uh, okay, yeah, I have to do it manually. Because I would like to keep the scout alive. At least for now, you know. Just let them come. 
Yeah, this hero is not super strong at the moment. Let's not do anything crazy. I can grab an animal. Okay, four turns. That's going to be enough time. Let's move a little bit closer. Keep the scout safe. And let them come to us. Let's go. Alright. So that's the spider. I think I'll let them come a bit closer still. Alright, let them come a bit closer. We can take a shot. Nice. Or use the magic attack, whatever. Same thing, alright? I could grab a primal spider. We're not getting a whole lot of mana at the moment, and we have a really big fight coming up. So let's not do that. Okay, now they're coming. Yeah, we can do it with no losses. Should be easy enough. It's just that auto combat is really aggressive. So if you want to play defensively, you kind of have to do it yourself. It would be nice if there was a toggle or something to let auto combat play aggressively or defensively, but it's not really a big deal. I mean, I like these fights. Okay, 60%. And we do have this other guy, but that's not really a problem. I don't think I can avoid retaliation entirely here. Not really. It's fine, though. Uh, is it? Should be fine. Uh, let's just heal the skeleton. It's a cheap spell, so might as well. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, one more on the right side. 50% uh, only. Okay. Come on. Kill it, thank you. Uh, nope, missed. Alright, it's fine. Bye-bye. Yeah, retaliation again. I was going to avoid that. Let's send the spider. Oh, nope, I can't. Okay, this is a summoned unit, so it will be gone pretty soon. 65%. Okay, that'll do. And keep the skeleton over here. Who can still move? I guess I'll just take a retaliation hit. Fine, attack him. Anyone else? No, but that's it. Okay, it's coming. Very convenient. Right next to our battle mage. This is only a tier 1 unit, but it sure looks like it's more than that. Yeah. Okay, let's go a bit closer here. Are you dead yet? Uh, almost. Almost. Who can finish the job here? Anyone? Uh, yes? Okay, let's go. I'll take a retaliation attack. Or attack of opportunity, rather. But that's fine. Low morale. Uh, let's heal up one more time. Just in case. But we're done. Okay, yeah, we're actually done. He's pinned. You're not going anywhere, buddy. And no losses. Done. Any level ups? And yes, on the scout. Okay. Crossbow. It's a tier one. Okay. Not super impressive. Yeah, this guy is using uh, the staff. Yeah, this guy is basically battle mage. Anyway, we do have that wand. I think I want it on my dragon, because we can actually use that on the dragon. There you go. Nice. I should probably unlock the item forge. We finished the research. Right, the transformation. Maybe we can cast that before the big engagement, but I'm not holding my breath. Blizzard. Okay. Enemy army spell. That might come in handy. And it's only two turns to research it. Yeah. Okay, well, let's cast the race transformation. That will take four turns and the 250 mana. But obviously we want it. 
So we can still excavate this. You never know, there might be something of interest. We'll heal up and then kill the other stacks. And send a little bit of help. Okay, hopefully we can win that fight over there. Because it's going to be a big one. We got the Arcane Institute. Yes, yeah, Spirit Hall is 400 gold. That is quite pricey. I think we need the tavern. Yep, we need the tavern. Because stability is low. We got Pact of Cooperation, good. What can we get here? Production, Focus Crystals. I think I already have Focus Crystals. I'm pretty sure I do. No, I don't. Okay. Well, more experience. I'll take it. There you go. I do want this city as quickly as possible. This could be a really nice city because it's basically on the other side of the map. That will allow me to access some of the other AIs faster. Are we far from the teleporter? We're getting close. Yeah, I want to unlock the teleporter probably as quickly as I can. One more thing I could do is grab this spirit wolf with resurgence. It's just one unit, but it's a tier 3 unit with resurgence. So it will be revived at the end of combat if I'm victorious. But it is 175 Imperium for a single unit. Which is not a great deal for me right now. In fact, I should probably pick up Shadow Binding. Magic Origin unit upkeep is reduced by minus 20%, and I have quite a few of those. Yeah, let's grab that. Yes, yeah, see? Suddenly we're making plus 39 mana instead. I should have grabbed that earlier, but better late than never. Will he attack me? Probably not. Did he leave with some units? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, now he's attacking me. Okay, so this is the fight. We'll probably win this. The main question is how many units are gonna die. Let's see what the auto combat will give us. Because sometimes auto combat can be pretty good. But we'll see what the outcome is. He does have two tier 3 units. His heroes are not super high level. Ours are higher. Okay, let's see what auto combat is gonna do. Uh, okay. That is actually not a bad outcome. I might keep this, hold on. Okay, the snow spirit died, which is not great. Okay, I don't necessarily want to lose the snow spirit, because it took a while for that thing to evolve. It's not a super strong unit, but it's a decent unit. Still, this is not a bad outcome. It's definitely not bad. Okay, let's do it ourselves. I'm okay with a few units dying, but preferably not our tier 3s. Alright, I think that's the biggest fight of this particular game so far. So, alright. Well, I will be playing defensively here. Let them come to us. We have some rocks over here. Okay, so let's position ourselves around this rock right here. I don't have too many good tanks. I do have a lot of skeletons. We have the primal charger. Wait, I probably shouldn't have moved there. Yeah, distracted. Uh, these are like mushrooms. What's distracted again? Oh yeah, all attacks targeting this unit are flanking attacks. It's only one turn, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, range units in the back. This is my best tank here, the Entwined Protector. He can stand on top of the tree. There's the Snow Spirit. Charger. Second hero. So this is the melee hero. Yep, with the big ass hammer. Tier 3 hammer. Alright. So I need a good charge. That's the Dread Spider Mage Shark. We don't have web, so I don't want to make use of that. And we can spawn a Hatchling. Okay, 
We have a Necromancer. With Strength and Undead. And the Raise Undead. Yeah, the Strength and Undead will definitely come in handy. How long does this last? Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna use it. Cancel it. Come on, cancel it. What the heck? <laughs> okay, let's use it on the Skeleton Warrior. Like so. It's one turn cooldown. There you go. Yeah, that will definitely come in handy. Now, I'm going to play a bit more aggressively with my Skeletons. Because they are disposable, basically. Okay, I think that's that. Let them come. Let's go. We don't have 55 combat casting points. That Archon Blood will come in handy because that's plus 15. Okay, what do we have? I mean, not that much. Ice Coffin. Base 90% chance of becoming frozen. If I can reduce uh, their like magic resistance or status resistance, we could potentially make it 100 if we reduce it below zero. Necrotize and obviously the heal. I will conjure a spider, but maybe not yet. Not yet. Okay, speaking of conjuring things... Let's get ourselves a spider, like so. Let them come a bit closer still. I'm not really in a rush. Yeah, just let them come. Are we close enough to cast our breath attack? Kind of? Okay, let's use it. Might as well. That will lower the resist. Can I freeze them now? 90%, okay. Well, 90%. Let's give it a shot. There you go, frozen for one turn, alright? I don't think I want to move any closer here. Not really. Raise undead. Friendly undead corpse is revived. Okay, we don't have friendly undead corpses at the moment. Okay, let them come. There, they're coming. Let's go. I don't like these magic attacks. Okay, yeah, that's our summon spider, so it's a good distraction. He did have two tier three units, need to watch out for those. Okay, yeah, here's one of the tier three units. Would be nice to kill it ASAP. And let's watch our dragon. In fact, I'm gonna heal it up a little bit. Wouldn't want him to die, obviously. 57. Okay, 25 retaliation, though. Where's my shock, dude? Over here. Okay. Well, let's cancel this retaliation right here. I need more of these guys. We don't have the hero, but I need to move out of the way with the necromancer. Okay, let's move. I'll take one attack or two attacks, but that's fine. And then I can move in like this. That is pretty good damage. It will not cancel retaliation, but it's pretty good damage. There. Okay. Actually, no, this guy doesn't retaliate, so just kill it. That's one tier 3 you need down. Okay. 50%, 65. Yeah, let's just use Strength and Undead here. Who's not strengthened? This guy. There you go. Okay, first ranged. So what did this misteling do again? Fey trick. Deal damage to target enemy base 90% of inflicting random negative status effect. Right, okay. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty funny unit. Oh yeah, I used the melee attack. It strikes the target enemy unit and then teleports back 3 hexes. 26 damage. That's also a pretty nice attack. This is a skirmisher unit. I'm maybe not very happy about being over here. But okay. 
I guess we can send a little bit of help like this. Okay, uh, here's a tier 3 archer. We definitely want to keep him busy if possible. Like this. Next up. Flank. Then we have the charger. Okay. I guess that'll do. Not ideal, but still good damage. We almost killed him. There, now we can kill him. Okay, so another tier 2 unit down. 65%. Uh, I'll take it, actually. Three times, and pretty good damage. There we go, we actually hit three times. Very nice. Next. A freezing phase teleports the unit to target Hex and deals damage to adjacent enemy units. Yeah, I don't want to do that because that's kind of risky. Let's try this 50%. Frozen, nice. Is this in range? It is, but kind of low chance. 90. Okay. Alright, let's be careful. I can use web. Uh, not really, I'm too far away. Okay, then. Cancel. What do we do, then? Raise undead. I can't really make use of that at the moment. Just use this 50% attack. Not that many units left to use. Right, so this is a summoned hatchling. I'm just going to keep it here. I don't want them to retaliate because they'll kill me if they do that. But at least we'll waste the turn of one of these units. Hopefully the night, but I'm not holding my breath. And it might be best to back up with the mage shark. Yeah, let's be out of range of that knight at least. The warg will be in range unless I back up. Yeah, let's back up into the foliage. Okay, he will be in range still. One more time. There, okay, that's good. Unfortunately, I can't move the snow spirit anymore. Alas. He's a big boy. He'll be fine-ish. <laughs> I hope. This is a lesser snow spirit. And he's only a veteran, so it's not the end of the world if he dies. It's this one that I want to keep alive. Because it's evolved, and that takes a while. Okay, here's a kill. Or pretty good damage to this warg. I think I'd rather kill the hunter spider. So let's do that. Done. Still got the primal darter. We got a 90%. Okay, that's only one attack. But I'll take it. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I think that's it now. Okay, yeah, that's it. it. Wasn't a bad turn. Let's see what they do. Okay, there's the hero. And another hero. Ooh, maybe we can kill this hero who charged us. Yeah, that's no spirit died, but that's okay. Don't kill my archer, bro. Honestly, that auto resolve was actually pretty good. Sometimes it is good. It depends. I probably don't need all these skeletons on the right side. Yeah, they currently have an advantage on the left side. That is a lot of units coming at us. Alright, alright. Well, this might get complicated. We can use... No, we can't use terrifying gorging. Okay. I could the tail swipe. I kind of want to go left, but I obviously don't want my dragon to die. Obviously. Freezing phase. I could use freezing phase and teleport myself here. Does this do like friendly fire damage? At the chase at enemy units. Okay. So it says enemy units only, so no friendly fire. Here. That way we'll move away from danger. Kill this. And then we'll send all these skeletons left. 
because that's where they need to be. These are actually disposable. I don't care if they die too much. Uh, let's use the ranged attack here. Right here. Uh, okay, missed. Fine. I want to kill this tier 3 archer, but I don't think I'll be doing that right now. Probably not. At least we'll keep him in melee range. Okay, here's our hero. Assassinate. A 50% chance. Well, 50% of the time it works every time. We'll do it because this is a free action, basically. No, resisted. Well, that's unfortunate, but alright. That is unfortunate. I'm a bit worried about all this stuff on the left. I think it's time to conjure a primal spider here. Maybe like in the back even. Okay, let's do that. That will distract them. And we can attack the hero. Or this Razorback. Can I kill the Razorback? Probably not. This is going to get the tricky. I need this damage here. Okay, we can kill this. Who else is in range? Yeah, I want to keep my dragon safe, so... I could go this way, right. We could actually... Okay, we could go here and then use the cleave. There we go. We'll kill both of these units. Nice. Okay, that was actually pretty nice. And now we should be, like, safe. At least far enough from danger. Alright. Who can still move over here? The primal charger, but we are out of range. And the darter. 65% uh, three times. Let's give it a shot. Nice. Okay, got it. Morale low. Morale is a big deal. We might actually win because of morale. I mean, I'll win. It's just a question of how many units are gonna die. Can I kill any of these? We can do some really good damage to this warg. Let's go with that. I'm pretty sure my primal charger here is gonna die. Probably. Well, we can do this. A cleaving attack. Let's go. It also has life steal, so you can see how much health we recovered. The life steal uh, that we picked up is going to be so helpful. Now we could try web. If it fails, it's gonna be bad. And I don't want to keep the spider mage shark alive. But yeah. Not sure about this. We also have our hero here. Five blessing. So this is a free action. Plus ten temporary hit points. Gains a stack of clinging mist. Which makes them harder to hit. And it gives a random positive status effect. I could try this on my dragon. But I would need to move up to it, basically. Uh, let's use it on our tank. Okay, yep, sounds good. Regeneration. Is that what we got? Regeneration? Heck yeah! Oh, that's perfect. That's amazing. He's also electrified. Well, hey, it's a net gain of plus 2 HP per turn. He can kill the warg. He could also use healing sap. But then, obviously, I won't be attacking. Still, this would be a very nice heal. We would even heal the hero a bit. Yeah, the hero can still attack. I really don't want the hero to die here. But he can do a lot of damage. It's a bit risky. It's a bit risky. How many units can still move? Yeah, not that many. Okay, I don't want to move through the stink flower, but this is just a skeleton, it's not a big deal. Okay, do we use web or not? I'm really torn about this. 
I don't want the spider to die. But it would be nice to land web. It's only 60% chance. And they will probably have some resists. If it lands, it's only going to land on like one unit. Yeah, no, let's just back up. It's a shame it doesn't have better range. But okay. So we still have the hero. And we still have the necromancer. Raise undead won't do much for me at the moment. Let's try this 25% attack. We can make it 50. Nope, missed. Okay. So, Primal Charger and the Entwined Protector and the Hero. Well, it is what it is. So, this is mainly a question of whether I want to charge like this or not. I would end my turn right next to this Razorbug. And I do have low morale now, so maybe it's fine. It's a bit risky, but let's do it. I hope I'm not gonna regret it. And now we can use Sap. There. Man, I love this skill. Sap is so good, it saved my ass multiple times in the past. I love that skill. Okay. Hopefully they will spread themselves out a bit. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, attack the spider here. That's our summon spider. Some of them are attacking the dragon. Okay, we are fine. Nobody died. The primal charger will probably die, but hey, he stayed alive so far. I have zero combat casting points. Okay, we have our ranged attack. So I can use it like this or like this. Yeah, we will kill this ranged dude. Let's rotate first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will rotate anyway, but let's do it. So, Dragon Bread. There you go, nice. Now, where are the chargers? Here's a charger at full health. Somebody needs to move out of the way and then we can charge. We can do this. Okay, yep, let's do that. Cancel Italian, then attack with our tank. There you go. Their morale is really low now. Okay, their morale is very low. Maybe we can just make them run away. Sounds doable. Let's go. Okay. Again. That guy is about to die. Uh, he's almost dead. If I move in here, I will get the distracting effect. Which makes any attack against us a flanking attack. That's a bit risky. Maybe the Necromancer can finish the job. There you go. Okay, so that guy is dead. Morale very low. We pretty much got this. I'm just trying to keep my units alive. Uh, routing. Right? Uh, no, very low currently. Okay, not routing yet. I thought they were routing because they are like... Uh, flashing. The knight. That's the most dangerous unit left over here, that knight. I'm also trying to keep my primal charger alive, if possible. I still have a restore, but that's only plus 10. Not some huge amount. So this is a summon the unit. It can do whatever. This is their hero. Okay. Let's try to get another kill. That should be easy enough. Well, I can do this. Bit of a waste of an attack, perhaps. Yeah, that's a bit of a waste. I can't use ranged because it's on cooldown. Do we have anything ranged back here? A bit too far away. Eh, maybe not. No, it's too far away, is it? It's too far away. No, it's not. Well, 10%. 50%. Nice. Poisoned and 18 damage. I still want to kill uh, this dude. Yeah. Well, I can do it with the tank. Let's do it with the tank. Okay, go. Got it. Looking good. 
So now I can probably run away safely with the charger. But I will take an attack from this knight. Yeah. I can attack him and cancel retaliation, but then I'm basically... Oh wait, I can cancel retaliation with my hero. Let's do that then. Okay, there you go. Now we can move away. As far as possible, preferably. Not that it's a super powerful unit, but there's no need to throw decent units away. And I don't need more shock units in general. I only have like two of them. Maybe I can kill this knight. It's probably safe uh, to move into the stink flowers now. They don't have that many units they can attack me with. Uh, the snow spirit can't do much. Okay, let's move here. They still have their hero, so I'm trying to be careful. Okay. Well, let's attack the hero with the skeleton. More skeletons. Off you go. Alright, attack this dude. It's fine. I can't quite kill him, but he's down to like half health. And that's our turn. I'm pretty sure they can't kill anything. Okay, he's routing. Yeah, so I was correct. He was flashing uh, wide because he was about to route. He technically wasn't routing yet, but he was about to. Yeah, now he's routing. Okay, let's kill the heroes, shall we? There you go. Okay. Another hero. Yeah, so the hero will be routing. That's the ruler here. I would like to kill the ruler for sure. He is pretty tough. Yeah, he is pretty tough. Hold on, hold on. Let's charge this dude first. To cancel retaliation. Go, go, go. Okay. I should probably kill him before he runs away. Okay, let's kill him before he runs away. I don't think the ruler will be that dangerous on his own. I move away with this almost dead skeleton. Not that I care too much about skeletons, but I don't need him all that much. Uh, okay, Mistling. Let's stick with ranged. Keep safe distance. Nice, we got a crit. Routing. Another skeleton. He's about to die here. Yep. Nice. Okay. Now the ruler. That should be easy enough. But yeah, let's not do anything overly wild. He's about to route as well. I'm not sure if I can kill him before he runs away. But overall, this was definitely better than auto-resolve. Yeah, this was definitely better. I don't think I can catch that knight. Well, I can catch him, but I don't think I can finish him off. He's quite tanky. We can finish off whatever this is. Yep. Well, almost. Uh, right here, yeah, 15%. Okay, bro. <sighs> well, I'll take that shot anyway. 15% of the time it works every time, alright? 5%. Yeah, he's getting a bonus. Keep the necromancer safe. Yeah, the knight will run away. Oh, no, he died! From the dot? Uh, the enemy is fleeing. And now I don't want to finish immediately. I want to try killing the ruler. I don't know if I can. Yeah, he's quite a tanky here. I might not have enough damage. Unfortunately. But let's give it a shot. Maybe we can actually do it. Okay, maybe we can. It's gonna be close. We should kill him with attack of opportunity, though. Okay, he's literally almost dead. I can still attack with ranged. 5%. Wait, oh yeah, I hit my own dude. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, that's it. He should die. No, nope. yeah, no attack of opportunity, that's fine. Uh, he's not at the exit yet. Yep, he's dead. Nice. So this was definitely better outcome than auto-resolve. We did lose a few units, but mostly less valuable units.
I did lose one champion rank primal darter, but I guess in the end that's still a tier one unit. We saved the snow spirit, the protector leveled up, the ruler leveled up, the other hero leveled up. Yeah, this is definitely a better outcome. And we wrecked his army. Now we can siege the city. That was fun. Fights like this are pretty much the best part of this game, in my opinion. Well, the part I enjoy the most. Okay, and we can get a lot of skeletons. Yeah, might as well grab them, right? They will cost me some mana, but we have 190 souls. What the heck, let's get ourselves some skeletons. And we level up our heroes. So we can grab a nature aura now. At the end of each turn, adjacent friendly units gain regeneration. I really like that. And that the chase and enemy units gain decaying. So I'm obviously getting that. There you go. And the other hero. He's in here somewhere. This dude. Level 5. So his support. Right? Yes. Inspiring leader. Restore. We can get strength training. Plus 10% damage to all non-hero units. We can get spiritual healing. Heals for 20 temporary hit points and gains 3 stacks of primal uh, of rising fury. Yeah, I think I'll grab this. Let's grab the heal. Okay, there you go. Done. And now we can start sieging the city. I did lose some health, but we should be able to siege this relatively quickly before he can reinforce because i don't want him to bring another army uh, okay i might want to move a bit closer here okay you can join up anyone with some movement points there you go yeah, I don't want to move too far away from the rest of my army. I did just wreck his army. But I still want to be careful. At the same time, uh, we need to get started on this siege. Let's just go. It shouldn't take super long. Let's speed it up. So undermining the walls. Onagers is 250. I can't afford that. I can break battlements though. That's also 100 gold. So, okay, that's 16. Four turns until breach. Yeah, I can do it in four turns. I don't think I can do it in three. If I had more gold. No. I mean, I can do headlong assault, but that will make everyone take 20 damage. That's a little bit risky, I think. That's a bit risky. Half of the defender's tower units are destroyed at the start of combat. Yeah, we can do that. Although, I don't have that much mana. We should be fine like this. It's four turns. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Hopefully four turns is not enough to bring anything overly nasty. How's Arcadia doing? Doing fine. I don't want to spend too much Imperium on this. I don't want to get the city ASAP, but within reason, okay? Within reason. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.